According to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, 11 percent of all homeless adults are veterans. Dother Sykes from Plant City, Florida, was a homeless veteran. He lived on the streets since 1989. However, today he resides in a veteran's housing complex in Las Cruces and no longer has to worry about the dangers on the streets. Because, say, when you're living homeless, you got to be watchful, you know. You, you pick friends real carefully, but you always know where you're at. Sykes says that his situation changed for the better when he found the Mesilla Valley Community of Hope. He says he built a foundation through the agency's tent city called Camp Hope, where he was one of the original members. And so I began to open up a little bit and let people in. Sykes says through the Mesilla Valley Community of Hope, he was able to find help and housing. The veterans complex where he lives today offers resources and classes on site every weekday. The Mesilla Valley Community of Hope partners with the Housing Authority to provide housing for veterans who may be experiencing homelessness or at risk of being without a home. Nicole Martinez, executive director of the Mesilla Valley Community of Hope, says that having this complex available to veterans is not only a strength to the community, but to the veterans themselves. People who have served our country and don't deserve to be sleeping outside. They have their own space, their own bedrooms, their own beds now, and they have somebody right next door who understands what they've been through. Not just through what happens in the military, but what's happened on the streets with these veterans. Sykes says that he has spoken with many homeless veterans who have served in combat and are having difficulty adjusting to life back home. It's stuff we do when we get in the military and say so the ones that have been in the combat zones and they get over and they do things not expecting to come back. But when they make it back, the stuff that they did won't let their mind rest. Today, Sykes has a roof over his head, and in his free time, he helps others who are trying to build that foundation so that they, too, can transition from life on the street to having a roof over their head. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.